Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver and today we're going to be playing Rise of the Xenomorphs. I think we played uh, Jurassic Planet, I think it was last time. You guys really enjoyed it, so I thought let's go ahead and uh, do the next best thing to dinosaurs, Xenomorphs! After the events of Alien Resurrection, the ship carrying the aliens crashed in the forest of the United States of America. And as it crashed, it took the aliens with it. And so the planet was safe. At least, that's what we were made to believe. One royal facehugger survived the crash and is now crawling about in search for a host to make the new queen. Luckily for it, an innocent woman just happened to be walking by. Funny thing is, you're in control, Empress Wiki Face. <laughs> okay, um, oh my god, there's a full... Jesus. All right, well, um, subscribe and play. Let's let's do this. So we're taking control of one facehugger and then slowly spreading through the rest of the world. Oh my god. You gonna download it? Jesus. Ooh, here we go. So it looks like it's a bacteria. So, ooh, interesting. A bacteria. I would have thought it would have been like the vampire plague, except for, you know, with an alien. Or even like zombies might have worked better. Just so you like go to one place, make more aliens. But uh, bacteria, I guess why not? Alien embryo. More like alien duck. Yeah, there we go. All hail the mighty empress, or known as the alien duck. You, as the mighty xenomorph empress, will, I mean alien duck, will control the queen through telep telep telepathy. And with her, all the xenomorphs. Spend DNA to unlock new forms of the xenomorph life cycle and resistances to allow your hive to thrive. Ooh, I like it. Go spread your species and claim this planet as your own. Ooh, I'm looking forward to it. So this must be, 100%, yeah, it's just general. So, where, I mean, oh, we're, we're in America, right? Or can we choose anywhere? No, you have to be America. Ooh, okay, so we're, there we go. We're in America. Done. So... One person is infected. I'm guessing that means one person is an alien. So let's have a look. Let's see what we get. Evolution history. So we got egg, the queen. So we're, we're on the queen right now, I think. Ooh, this is nice. I like when they, they change things up. So what have we got? We got eggs laid by the queen. About a thousand of these are produced a day. They are the source of the face huggers when they hatch. And we got face huggers, um, uh, organism that contains new embryos. Once hatched from an egg, these creatures will go searching for a host. So we could make eggs, but oh, we've already got it. We've already got that. Um, so we just want to make face huggers then. Okay, let's let's make face huggers. Um, target humans because the face huggers have partial human DNA due to the cloning process. Their first choice for hosts are humans. Unlocks a new kind of xenomorph. Okay, so. Well, this is all I've got so far. I can't really do anything else apart from stop the cure, the dissolved truth. When killed, facehuggers will release their acidic blood and dissolve themselves. Without facehugger bodies to examine, researchers is hard to conduct. I'd imagine it would be. So now we're making lots of eggs. So we've got two, three. I would imagine we'd make loads though. Okay, so let's see if can we can make anything else. There we go. Okay, so let's target humans. Uh, ooh, then dogs and birds. So if you didn't know, Xenomorph is, uh, it's an alien that can, whatever it impregnates, basically, it then takes that DNA and makes a version of the Xenomorph. So the classic ones we're used to are the ones that are from uh, human DNA, I'm pretty sure, but they can be like dog DNA, like in, I think that was Resurrection, wasn't it? Alien 3? Or was that just Alien 3? I, can't, I think it was Resurrection, wasn't it? It was a dog alien. Anyway, anyway, that was awful. Let's carry on. Eggs will hatch early when exposed to unknown sound and or body heat. Slightly increased in infectivity. And facehuggers now understand human behavior. They will strike from the dark. Oh, -ho! from your cupboard. Okay, so I guess we just wait. Oh, I love this. It's quite a nice poster, actually. Where they made like Mondo. Mondo made a poster for this. That would be cool. So, ooh, world. Parasitoid discovered. Whalian, wait, is it Whalen? It's Whalen Corp. Recently discovered a new species of asteroid when it attacked a man and attached onto his face. We've only attacked three people. How do you find it? The man was saved, the organism killed, and it is currently being used for research purposes. The Whalen Corp has named these creatures face hookers. Not space ducks, alien ducks, damn it. Ah. Well, that's fine. I don't care. Maybe we should have actually laid more eggs first. I think maybe we should have saved up for that rather than attacking humans. But, uh, hey, we'll, we'll remember that for next time. Ooh, we got a scroll in bar. Oh, that's cool. 
I just use oh look it gives like a cool cinematic like woo, oh! <laughs> Okay, enough of that. So we need to wait for 10 DNA. I should probably speed up. Bam! One more. One more. Come on. So does that mean there's 21 xenomorphs or 21 people infected? Let's make more eggs. Always the best way. Just let's make loads of eggs. Shouldn't have attacked humans. I think that was a bad play on my part. I should have made loads and loads of eggs and then uh, all of a sudden attacked humans. Because they're going to be starting to research on me, aren't they? Uh, does it say key benefactors or no? No research, apparently. So I think that's just... The game wants it to believe, wants me to believe that research is being carried out, but it's not because uh, it's still plague at the end of the day. But the game's like, oh, your face hugger was discovered. Ooh. Uh, oh, sorry, 15. Uh, we could attack dogs and stuff, but we're not going to do that just yet. Um, we'll get more eggs. Eggs seem to be the best way to forward. So the eggs become very efficient, allowing to hatch four face huggers from every egg. Jesus, that's not canon. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. More eggs and more face hookers as well, actually. So, uh, tip. Yep, I know. I know. I've played this game before. Um, so, we need 11. So, and then face hookers get better. So, I think that's what we need to focus on is 11. Oh, hold the phone. What we should have done is this. Uh, when killed, face hookers will release uh -huh, without that. So, the, no research. We'll get that, actually, because we've already one's already been ca captured. So, we'll get that. So, we can't be researched on. I think that's good. I mean, that's what it was telling me. I think the scenario was telling me, oh, one's been captured. So we'll evolve that so they dissolve so they can't be researched on. I mean, I'm guessing that's what the... Oh, incubation period symptom mutated. Oh, really? Where's that? Is that symptoms? Oh, okay. So does that just happen after a period of time? So what's this one? Chest bursters. The embryo has grown while absorbing some of the host's DNA. Oh, oh, so xenomorphs have an exi They don't exist yet. Right now, they're just face huggers that have impregnated people. But xenomorphs haven't burst out yet. So we're, we're looking at, a, at the necromorph virus, so zombies. Everyone's infected, but nobody's turned into a zombie yet. So we're just impregnating them. That's why they said they removed the, the face hugger without, you know, without killing the host, which is the person. So they don't know he's, in, he's impregnated yet. Hate using that word. Oh, it's so gross. The whole alien thing is pretty disgusting. Uh, so we'll, we'll just get loads of these going. Like, I think Ridley Scott, who directed it, or um, was it... Oh, was it Giga? HR Giga? Um, it was one... It was either one of those. They designed the alien to sort of be, make men scared of the whole act of sex. Because basically, an alien is the complete violation of all of that. <laughs> Chest bursting through you. Can't do anything against it. Oh, it's just horrible. Wow, okay, we are infecting everybody in America. Oh, oh, and uh, apparently a face hooker got on a plane. How the hell does that work? Okay, well, um, while attached to the host, the face hooker will fire their acidic blood at the individual who dares to approach them. Well, that kind of increases severity, doesn't it? Do we really? Ah, oh, fine then. Let's do that. Sticky face hookers. Face hookers will develop a slime layer on their bodies, allowing them to climb on the walls and ceilings of spider face hookers. <gasps> New parasitoid dangerous. The recently discovered parasitoid has been seen attacking humans and can defend themselves by spitting. <laughs> it's corrosive, apparently. So this is what we want to do, I think. We just want to Spread. That's what we're doing. Oh, God. I will do that. Oh, no. Come on, quickly. Yeah, I got them all. Okay, so we got 25. And uh, what's this one? Sticky face huggers. Uh, we'll get that and that. Oh, and then we get to royal face hugger. Sometimes an egg produces special face huggers that contain an embryo that is infected by an, any host DNA. New hives can be started by the queens. My God, this is awesome. Flying face huggers. The face hugger respor respiratory system I can't even sorry I'm dyslexic I'm sorry systems allow them to breathe thin air allowing them to survive on the outside of planes well apparently mine don't have a problem doing that since they, that's the only way they've been transported oh no there's been some boats never mind um do we really want that or do you want chest bursters everyone around the world at the same day will explode oh there goes a boat Okay, nothing yet. I kind of, I kind of just want to keep increasing uh, the infectivity. We just, that's what we want to do, and then we'll uh, make everything explode, depending on how the research goes. 
I think. Then we'll we'll probably target more things. Okay. Little uh, choir in the background there. Yeah, pretty nice touch. So what's this? Royal face okay. Um Oh yeah, start a new queens in a country. I don't know if that's really anything we'll need. Um, just yet. We'll probably just increase this. And then we can get... Uh, facehuggers can now swim and are harder to find on boats. Unlock sh uh, ship transmission. I'm pretty sure facehuggers could swim anyway. I feel like I've watched them. Oh, people are dying. Holy crap. Uh, did not see that coming. Uh, yep, people are definitely dying. Uh, so we'll spread by water. That only... Oh, it cost quite a lot. It cost... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, that's good. Thank God. <laughs> Alien duck placed on watch list. Thank you. Someone's taking me seriously. Uh, ooh, we can infect um, that. We'll infect the doggies. Man's best friend can now be attacked. Not even interspecies are safe. Uh, people are still dying. That's kind of sad. I don't. I, is that just in general? Are people dying, or is that because I'm infecting the areas? Oh, you know what it is. It's the um, people approaching uh, the other people that have been face-hugged, and I'm spitting on them and killing them. That's what's happening. So, um... Let, should we do chest burst? I think it's about time. Let's do chest... Blah! The chest burst. Oh, yes. The embryo has grown while absorbing some of the host DNA, and after 12 to 24 hours, it'll begin to eat its way out, resulting in the host's horrific death. So everyone's gonna start dying now. Drones slash harvesters. So these are the actual xenomorphs themselves. Uh, the weakest of the xenomorphs, this strain helps move eggs or victims and will obey higher ranked xenomorphs without question. 1.8 meters long. Uh, this strain has extremely strong legs and can run very fast due to traits stolen from the quadruped host. So that's because we've got doggies. Uh, the same function as a warrior. Okay. So we've got a regular runner to help spread the eggs. And the oh, there's a warrior. The defenders of the hive. This strain is stronger than the drones. That they evolved, sorry, that they evolved from. They'll obey the queen, but don't need commands to act. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Should we just go with doggies? Or runners? We need a warrior or a runner. Let's go for runners. Runners are cool. Oh, chrysalis. A special unit that can roll itself up into a ball and strike its victim at speed up to 80 miles per hour. Evolved from runners. What the frick? 80 miles an hour? Bloody hell. Parasites bursting out of people's chest. Yes. A few patients treated for dizziness, nausea, and chest pains all died to an unknown creature growing inside of them. How the parasite got there is an unanswered question. Uh, even though it kind of looks similar to the other thing, these new creatures have been named chest bursters. Wayne and Corp says to keep calm. Of course they would. They want this to happen. They wanted to capture the alien. The creatures escaped. The captured chest burster, fr burster from before have grown incredibly fast and are almost two meters in length. They escaped to the Whaling Corp labs and have killed off all the scientists. Jesus. There has been a link between the xenomorphs and the facehuggers. That doesn't surprise me. And I've already heard a woman cry. War oh, well, we got warriors for free. That's good. Um, great. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, what we got here? Um, ooh, cold resistance, DNA advantage. Um, defending pact. The xenomorphs will only protect their hive. Only. And will only attack other animals if they form a threat to the hive or their queen. Winning condition. So at that point, we've captured our settlements. Uh, aggression pack. Xenomorphs will search relentlessly for any other species on the planet. When it forms a threat, they will kill it. If not, they will be exposed to the face organ. So we've got an aggression pact, which kills everything in on the planet Earth. Or we've got a defending pact. Whereas, uh, we don't want that. We want to kill them all, don't we? Xenomorph pollution. The xenomorphs pollute the water reservoirs of big cities with their acidic blood. What do they? They just cut their wrists? Jeez. Making it undrinkable enables DNA from blue bubbles. Ooh. And what's this one? Army initiative. Instead of killing humans on sight, warriors will render them unconscious and bring them to the hive so when facehuggers hatch, they can be impregnated immediately. Interesting. Go for that one. Uh, drones will keep their host imprisoned until the chest burster comes out and the bodies are used as a food source. Good, good, good. Uh, and the drones will raise the chest bursters until <laughs> like mamas. Right, so now we're protecting our own. Oh god, did not mean to do that. Every everyone should be dying. Everyone should be dying really quick. Oh god. Yeah, look at those drones go to work on China. 
Uh, so let's let's make our babies grow up big and strong. So we've got like a mothering instinct, apparently. South America leading global cure effort. Okay, I don't think there's anything we can do. We could poison the water reservoir now. So we can get um, DNA from popping their bubbles. I think, yep. Yeah, we got aid from that. Water, water, water source is undrinkable. The water res reservoirs have been polluted with xenomorph blood. All citizens should avoid drinking tap water. Xenomorph blood contains high amounts of hydrofluoric acid. It's extremely lethal. Poor guys. Xenomorph first aid. Wayland Yutani has now discovered how to remove face huggers from their victims without fatal injuries. Large stat drop. Okay, I like how they just googled that online. So we need a way to help... Um, so that's why we have this, the army initiative, because now the facehuggers by themselves can't do anything. So we've got the, uh, the aliens there to help raise our babies. That's good. We don't really need to kill anything yet, so there's no point evolving those. Um, abilities. What's this? Xenomorphs apply their DNA to their surroundings, causing a boost in mutation chance. More DNA from orange bubbles? I guess that's good. And this one, and DNA of the xenomorphs become even more changeable, increasing chance of mutation. And more DNA from- Yeah, hell, yeah, let's go for it. So every bubble we pop now, we'll get loads from. And we're getting- Ah, we're getting a crud ton of DNA. We could have pro probably done this on brutal difficulty. Ah, give me that DNA, yeah. Yeah, you thought you could help. Uh, but you're actually helping me. When the chest bursts burst out, they release high amounts of acidic blood from the gestational sac into the host body. Research becomes extremely hard to conduct. That's good. And that is as much as we can do on stopping the cure. Um, there's a lot of places in Africa that haven't been infected. So what we should do is get heat resistance. Um, I don't think we really need... Do we need cold resistance? Yeah, why not? It's a bit of a waste, though. And we don't need exos exos bleh, exoskeleton bioresistance. We don't need that. Because I think that's good enough. Ooh, chrysalis symptom. We've got the 80 miles an hour runnings now. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what can that evolve into? Oh, my God. It's an inverted version. Chrysalis. Oh, no, we've already got that. So we can evolve the birds and something else. We can't get... What can we do? Something we can get. Royal facehuggers. And plant and uh, despair. The oxygen that facehuggers feed their victims is enriched with stress hormones, causing the host to forget the traumatic happening, reduce severity. Ooh, very good. I like that. That's nice. That's sneaky. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Patreons. Patreons! <laughs> uh, the elite troops of the hive. These tough warriors are very strong and extremely difficult to kill. They exist to guard the queen. Well, we don't need those if unless we're um, going to go for that uh, the win um, the win thing. What is it? Uh, defending pack. That's right. We don't need that. We don't need to defend the queen. The queen's fine. Uh, we do crushes an evolved pre Praetorian alike runner. Their thicker head armor is bulletproof. Big, strong, and extremely aggressive. 8.5 meters long. We're going to make the best xenomorph from this. This is awesome. Okay, so everywhere's infected now. Uh, get lots of DNA from the bubbles. Uh, oh, God. So, yeah, like loads of people are infected. Does that mean they're xenomorphs or not? I don't know what that means. Like, if it was zombies, we'd have infected and zombie now, not dead. Crusher symptom mutated. Awesome. So that's the human one, isn't it? Is it, the, is it that crusher? Oh, no, we've got... Oh, that's a huge one. We got crushes now. Oh god, stop double clicking, man. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um so now we need to um do the aggression pact. That's what we need to do. So aggressive! Kill everything now. That's what we do. Worldwide chaos, hordes of xenomorphs are attacking the city, thousands are killed, and it looks like no one is safe from these creatures. Is this the end for humanity? It is when I've made the bloody pact <laughs> to kill everybody. Otherwise, it would have been a defense. But, I, I mean, I feel like if I went for the defensive pact, I might, like... I don't know. The, the Q might beat me. Highly weaponized... Oh, highly weaponed squads have been sent to kill the Xenomorph Queens and destroy the hives. We all... We all wait. We all await in tension for our brave heroes. This doesn't seem good. I would evolve something to protect the queen. Oh, you didn't have to tell me. I, I would have guessed that anyway. Now I feel like, uh, he's spoon feeding me. <laughs> Carrier when can't become a new queen in the event of an old one's death. They'll become carriers. Carrying face suckers around on their backs. Ooh, what's this one? Spitters. Dilophosaurs. These xenomorphs spit their acidic blood from long range and are also able to spot enemies from a distance. Aggressive and lethal. 
Well, there we go. We're protecting the queen. Very good. Mission total failure. <laughs> yeah, the queens were highly protected by Praetorians. And if we managed to kill the queens, she was replaced by one of the strongest Praetorians in the hive. Um, what's, what? Is, and if we managed... Oh, they don't even know. Um, maybe it is impossible to repel this threat. I would believe so. And just before you entirely give up, I want to evolve a new type of xenomorph. Um, what do we got? We can get a fishy or... Uh, flying. Oh, flying. Let's get a flying xenomorph. What does that unlock? Ooh, it's got wings. Flying aliens. This type of xenomorph has a... <laughs> oh, my God. Taken the DNA of avian species and has bursted out of it and took the form of a winged xenomorph. Can drop face hookers from above three meters long. What's the next one? Bull alien. A xenomorph that is hatched from an ox. Very strong and can fierce. What pierce, though, almost any material. A bull. That's not a bird. What the hell's all that about? I want a fishy one now. What is it? It looks like the first ones you get really unlock the proper xenomorph. Then after that, it's just perks. So let's get a fish DNA. What do we evolve from that? Ooh, swimmers. Is that it? It is swimmers. Yeah, I was going to say it doesn't go off anywhere else. It, it's a weird color. I, I, it should just be black. Could they not change the picture? All xenomorphs can swim. But these ones can... Oh, sorry. But these ones come from a fishy host. It's very fast, sneaky, and it will carry face suckers with it. Awesome. Well, that's it. There's only, um... So that's the Baltic states. How many people are left? 400 million. Make that 200 million. And that is it. That was really easy, actually. Really fun. Um... Yeah, we won. That's it. We got to... Oh, carrier symptoms evolved. Awesome. So, what was that we evolved? Carriers, carriers, carriers. Unless that was something else. Was that a, an ability? Oh, what's this? Facehugger. Really royal facehuggers. One random royal facehugger will use its limbs to swim or run to a random country. No matter what it takes to get there. <laughs> it's like a Rocky theme tune. I got the eye of the tiger. <laughs> They're dead. The xenomorphs have killed off all the humans. The earth is a big place full of new organisms to hatch from. What will the future generations bring us now? The humans are gone. Apparently victory. Humans are consumed by fear. Are they? What? <laughs> they're, they're dead. I thought they said it's consumed by fear. We only got one. Is that out of four or five? Or is that just generally for the custom scenario clearance? I think that might be. But, wow, that was loads of fun. Um... I'm going to say, like, I feel like a zombie or a vampire uh, would be a better base because then you could actually have lairs and then they would fight back. There was nothing, there was no bases built, there was just a lab. If it was the actual zombie one, then they would make, like, the um, the crusaders, except that it could be Wailing Corp, and they would hunt down actively the uh, lairs. So, um... I feel like vampires would be better would, would be better because then I can actually control the queen. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was loads of fun. Um, and apart from the the vampire or zombie plague, because then with the zombie plague, at least I'd be able to control a horde of xenomorphs. Uh, it would probably be a mixture of both zombie and vampire, if it's even possible to do that in custom scenario. I'm not sure. But I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed Alien Duck. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, also, if you like this, leave a like, <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye!